guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I have been away for a while. I've had a couple people texting me and asking me, emailing me and such like that, asking me if I was coming back to YouTube. I am coming back to YouTube. Uh, I'm just gonna, you know, kind of ease my way back into it. Uh, I had to take a break um, just because, and um, I am coming back, and I'm gonna start with the alphabet challenge, actually. Um, I recently made a comment on one of Miss Gail's videos and was just like, oh my gosh, I want to do that, but I feel like it's so late. And she's like, no, 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 go do it. And I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> so I'm going to try that out. Um, I don't know what all the letters are supposed to be. Like, you know, who chose what for A, who chose what for B, this, that, and the other. So I'm just going to kind of come up with them, like, as they come to my head and we'll do it like that. So, um... I want to do two things in this video. I want to show you guys a shop share. Um, I recently got a purchase. Uh, I saw this person on Miss Gail's channel, and oh my gosh, I just I cannot describe to you. I'm going to show you. Um, and she does dyed papers. Um, and you guys know well if you've been with me for a while, then you know that I get my coffee dyed papers from Miss Emily. Um, over at the vintage polka dot but these are different um, and these are some things that I made with appliques um, well that one's not but these two are and we're gonna do appliques for A and I just wanted to show you kind of have something pretty on this screen when I turned my camera on so the shop name is called Caroline Creates. It's caroline.etsy.com. Okay. And uh, this is my little receipt that I got, um, which is kind of cool that she sends that out. I should probably do that. I don't do that. I think I have a couple times, but <laughs> most of the time I forget to do that with my own orders that people order from me get. Anyway, I'm just rambling on. Anyway, these are some tags. Um, you get six in a pack. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's what comes in a pack. And they're very well priced, in my opinion. I actually think that um, they're incredibly well priced, especially considering the artwork that you're getting. Because I think a lot of people forget that when you're buying things, especially if they're created like this, you're paying for someone's artwork. And when you're telling someone it's too expensive, you're kind of insulting them and saying, you know, well, your art's not worth that much. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're saying to someone that you think that their prices are too high for their art. Um, I think that these are incredibly, incredibly reasonably priced. Like, I don't know if you guys can see the detail on this, but this is coffee dyed paper. And it's cardstock, they're tags. Um, I think what she did was um, made the coffee dyed paper out of the 110 pound cardstock and then made the tags. And that is a lot of work. I have no idea if that's what she did. Actually, I can tell you if that's what she did. It is exactly what she did. You can tell because um, of the not so uniformity in the hole and right here, which I actually appreciate this a lot more knowing that that's the, that's the case. And y'all are gonna have to ignore my hideous nails. So South Carolina reopened. But since it's reopened, it has doubled its positive cases. So has this girl been out? Uh -uh. Nope, nope. I have kids at home. I am not in a big old hurry to go gallivant through the public just to get my family sick. I mean, I understand people have to work and whatnot, but this is my work. I'm doing my work. Oh, and that's the backs too. So even the back is really pretty. Like, I love this one. This is probably one of my favorites. And it's K 
carolaine.etsy.com. And um, like I said, these are very reasonably priced. Put it this way, I got four packs of these. That's how, that's how much I was just like, oh my gosh, that is such a good price. So I got four packs of them, and I know I'll use them because I'll make um, tags and such to go in journals, um, to sell, to, you know, whatever. I love making tags. See, look at that. Isn't that cool? And this is just the tags, y'all. Like, this is crazy. So, so cool. Like, I've seen decorative... Um, coffee dyeing before, but I have never seen it quite like this. I'll have to ask a friend of mine if she, if hers comes out like this, because I actually haven't had any of her paper yet. Um, but that's the tags, so I ordered that, and I also ordered bags, because I love bags. For one, I will decorate them and make them pretty er but I will also use bags when I package up my orders. So um, let me zoom y'all out just a smidge because these bags are a little bit bigger. Oh, now you're going to see my mouse. Well, my mouse pad. Um, nope, wrong direction. Well, now you see my keyboard. Okay, well, we're just not going to get this straight, are we? It's either my keyboard or my mouse. Pick one. Which one do y'all want to see? Mm. Oh, look at that. Yay. Okay, we did it. All right, so these are bags, and these are the six by nine bags, and these are actually measured from here, from here to here. And it's about three quarters of an inch to an inch longer than nine inches. So when you fold it in half, it will be, you know, not quite the nine and a half what did I say that for that's weird anyway the inside and I love the thickness of the bag like it's not super thick but it's not like um, glassine thin either because glassine is really really thin look at this isn't that cool like that is just insane like, in theory, I know how she's done this. In theory. I don't do coffee dyeing. Um, but you guys know that in artwork, you can know how to do something in theory. But actually executing it to the degree of someone else's artwork is almost impossible. Because you have to understand that it's their, it's their touch, you know? Because you're not going to get the exact same thing, even if you do try to copy it and replicate it. It's always going to be unique to the artist. And I absolutely love what she has done with this. She is magic. I'm going to have to readjust my camera because my camera is like crooked. And then there's the backs. And these are the six by nines. Um, I think I got two packs of these. You get, I want to say there's, what is it, six? I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. So there's six in a pack. And again, I got two of them. Um, because, again, I thought that they were very reasonably priced because you're not just buying a paper bag, you're buying someone's artwork. And I think that a lot of people should try to understand that when they're buying from Etsy. And if they don't like the prices, then just don't comment on it. Uh, there's no reason to tell someone that their prices are too high. Because you're basically saying that their artwork's not good enough for that price. Which I think is very rude. <laughs> just my two cents. And you guys know that I'm all about my two cents. Like, look at that. Isn't that cool? I don't really filter out my two cents very often. Sometimes I do. But not very often. Love this one. 
But I like the eight and a half by 11 bags because when you fold them in half, they're basically their own page. Like this is a whole page by itself. I, I like doing journals that big. Um, I actually don't know the measurements of it. Um, but if you use um, the manila envelopes and fold those in half, the eight and a half by 11 pages fit perfectly in those to make journals. Anyway, this is the same thing. The weight is really, really, really good. It's not too heavy, it's not too thick, and it's not too thin either that I feel like it's gonna rip. Like, and I love the crunch of it. Like, it's just amazing. And I'll try to remember to put the, I'll, I'll go grab her link and I'll try to remember to put that in the description box. Cause I actually have to change my description box. Cause I'm not doing lives anymore. I'm just gonna do the videos. Cause um, that's just what I wanna do right now. That's what I have time for. Um, Cause we're getting, we're going back into school full time right now. And so I have my 13 year old is doing ninth grade work, but he's on an accelerated schedule. So, that is um, very interesting. What am I doing? I'm like all flabbergasted at the moment. I don't know why. I think it's just because I'm nervous talking to you guys again, even though it's a video. Because I've been away for so long. Oh, wrong way. That's my glue gun. All right, maybe, possibly, I don't know. Um, we're gonna do some tags. So I'm just gonna grab three tags and they're gonna all three be different because, well, they're different tags. I'm gonna zoom y'all back in. Nope, that's the wrong direction. I'll get this right eventually, possibly. I'll think about it. Oh, and that's her card. Did I show y'all her card? Anyway, that's where you get the, um, it's Caroline, caroline.etsy.com. Sorry, I heard tires squeak. I thought maybe my husband was home. Thought it might be a little early though, because it's, um, let's see, it's like three o'clock in the afternoon. This video I'll post in the morning though, so, um, it'll be tomorrow for you guys. Um, but anyway, I'm going to grab some lace here. And, oh, wait, I have to do a time limit. So I'm going to grab my box. This is the box that I grabbed for, for, from to do um, any kind of appliques or um, goodie bags. Because I add them sometimes to goodie bags. Not always, but sometimes. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start this. And then I'm going to make three tags using appliques. And that's going to be my alphabet challenge for the letter A. Wish me luck. Because I have no plan. But then again, when do I ever? So, uh, this video is probably going to be a little over half an hour since I'm starting it right now. And it's already sitting at, uh, what is it, 14 minutes? Anyway, this is some lace um, that I just recently got in. It will be in my shop. It is not at the moment. But... It is this very, very, very pretty, like, I don't even know what to call it, like maybe sage, possibly. Um, I think we'll do Fabri-Tac. And then we'll trim the edges. I know someone's probably cursing me because I didn't make it like all exact and I'm going to waste some part of it. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I'm always yelling at the TV or the computer if I'm watching somebody. I'm like, you left it on the counter. Where's my so-and-so? It's right there. I can't find this, that, and another. Look over there. It's right beside you. No, it's under the cot. Oh, that's my email. Ignore that. I have a hard time with my email because if I shut it down, 
Like, it doesn't want to reload back up. Like, it's really weird. Alright. So, we'll trim that down in a second. I'm going to grab a couple doilies here. And that one's too big. Let me grab the bucket. Oh, uh, this happens to be my big bucket of doilies. Um, these are too big, I think. That one may not be. Yep, it is too. All right, let me grab the other bucket. They're smaller. And they're just all right here, very handy, because I have this small obsession with doilies. Can you tell? I love them in doilies. All right, so I want this to go right there, but I'm going to have to trim that up first. Yeah, you know, it's funny as I normally work really quick anyway, but I think having that timer puts like this added pressure, you know? It's kind of weird. Ah, let go! Okay. Alright. So, where'd my thing go? So it's kind of like the other one that I just had on here, but it's a little bit smaller. And the design is different. And we're in a hot glue. I love using hot glue on doilies and fabric. And I'm not going to glue this part down, the edges here. I'm going to glue the outer ring, or the outer inner ring, like that. But that way, if the, this part wants to come up because it's round, then it can. Also, too, I can't glue all of it because it's going to come off the side. Just a little bit. Alright. I love that. Okay. So, we've got some appliques here. Oh, that is really elegant. I like the pink and blue. Um, let's see. I have blue. I think that's a different color blue. It is. I have a, a different pink here. I have to trim that up. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Hey, stay. Um, and these may or may, I actually don't know, but these may or may not be able, be available in my shop because I might have sold out of them. They were available at one time. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that. And I've got some seam binding I can put up here. Some cream colored seam binding. We're just going to leave that there though because I normally don't add the tops until I either put them in a journal or if I'm posting them on the shop, I'll put something on there before I post it. But it's kind of like a final touch type thing. So, that's one. Let's see. Um, I kind of want to do a darker blue. That's really dark. I like that. Um, and these, again, it will be on available in the shop, but it's not at the moment. Um, I'm a little behind on my laces. 
you wouldn't be able to guess because I've got a bouquet of laces in my shop, but I am, I am slightly behind on my laces, you know. Um, all right, I like that. Help that. If I put you up there, is that gonna work? Yeah. Okay. I was trying to figure out if I could use this little dot right there as like an anchor, and I can. Can show you guys how to get rid of all of these glue strings. I don't know if y'all can see them, but because I'm touching it through the laces, it's like attaching to my fingers and creating strings. Oh, hey, y'all, guess what? Um, the glue gun, the stuff that comes out of it, it's a little warm. You know, just in case you didn't know that already. Because I'm a ding dong and I touched it. Dunk. Bleep. Alright, so I don't think I'm going to trim that. Not sure, actually. Maybe I will. So there's that, and then we can put this nice big white one right on top of that. I kind of want to put it in the corner up here. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I want to add something to this, though. It's really pretty, but it's kind of thick. Ooh, I have some of this left. <laughs> this is all I have left of it. Uh, this was one of my favorites, but I sold out very quickly on this one. like I need something to go on here. Oh, oh, oh. This is some of the lace I have left on this one as well. Um, and there's like, I don't think, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a blue shimmer that goes through. probably worse you can't see it anyway it pictured really well but that's it that's all I have left on this one ah that's warm all right and then we're just gonna do a solid line Boop. that's yeah so we're gonna pretty much cover this up I just need something. Like, I like the dark, but I need something to break it just a little. Um, that way, when I put the heavy contrast on it, it's a little broken up. It's not quite so, oh, oh God, in your face, you know? Yeah, see, that's so much better. I'm trying to figure out where to put this. I like that. 
almost want to dye this blue. <laughs> Is that bad? Then again, I probably would dye everything blue given the chance. Blue or green or turquoise or aqua or any kind of hue of blue. Purple, violet. People ask me what my favorite color is all the time. I'm like, I don't have one. I have a favorite hue. Does that count? Like anything that is part of the blue family. Blue, green, purple. I like black too. Boop, 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 boop. Hey, don't go under there. I miss my long nails. But I haven't gone out to get them done. I mean, the shop's open, but I don't know. I am I guess I'm just chicken. I have not left the house <laughs> since, like, early March. Late uh, Late peptide. September, what, uh, February, something like that. That's really pretty. I like that. And see that the tags just kind of add that extra, like, yumminess, you know? Maybe we, we should work on this side. Let's do... And grab my other scissors. I have no idea what time we're at right now because my screen went black. My timer screen. I am just cutting this lace trim. Um, this will also be available in the shop eventually. This just happens to be a piece. Uh, it was a canceled order. So, and it was already cut, and I don't, I don't, um, I didn't want to put that up, that or I just wanted to be greedy and use it myself. I think the latter was more the true statement here. I really want to use this, but I don't know where I want to use it. can use one of these. This is available in my shop now. Um, and this is the piece that you get. It's like that big old huge long piece. I've actually sold quite a bit of these. People like these. Can't say I blame them, they're gorgeous. When I found these, I was like, oh my gosh, yes please. Can I have 9,500,000 of these? That way I can keep some for myself to play with. Because that's always important when you're buying supplies. If you're a seller, I mean. You gotta have some to play with. Okay, I like that. Party. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. We'll just anchor you down. There. And then we will start laying everything. 
timer's going to go off. It's just going to scare the bahookies out of me. I don't even know what that word is, bahookies. It's going to scare the snot out of me is what it's going to do. Oh my gosh, speaking of. So my husband started playing this video game. It's called Escape from Targov. And it's a really cool game. It's actually Russian based. Um, it's a Russian game. And um, Eve might know what it is just because she's over there in Europe. But um, it's really, really cool. It's a first person shooter. It's a computer game. And I like video games. And, you know, being home every once in a while, you'll get bored of doing the same thing. So, I was like, hey, I want to try that game out. So, we bought it, again, because you have to buy it for each, for each computer. Anyway, we bought it again. And I started playing it, you know, playing the little, the practice runs and such like that. Anyway, someone came up and hit me. Or, well, they started shooting at me. They didn't actually hit me. And it scared the ever-living crap out of me. I jumped so far. It was crazy. I was just trying to leave because I got goody stuff. And I wanted to get out with my goody stuff. So I wanted to just leave. And he was trying to get me. And I was like, no! It scared me so bad. It was kind of funny afterwards because I was just like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That's kind of crazy. Um... But yeah, um, so I want to put something on there, but I don't want it to be like overly cray cray, you know? That's a little dark and maybe a little big. I don't want something that big. Maybe just like a little accent. Or I think that might be a better option. Hold on, I'm looking at my little tiny doily. Because I have little teeny tiny doilies too. And I'm looking at those. Because I think I might want those. Oh my gosh, how good is that? Do I have little pink pearls? I do. So. Put that. Oh, my big old fingers. Right there. And then. Oh no, I dropped it. Oh wait. I do see it. Oi. Oh, don't mind my big old head. I wanted to grab it since I saw it because if I didn't grab it then, trying to find it later would have been fun. It is really warm in here. Are y'all warm? Oh my gosh, it is so warm. But I have I have all the studio lights on and um, on top of that I have the, both my monitors and my printer and my tower and any of my tools that are on and the glue gun. So, the fact that it's warm in here is a little not surprising. I'm so warm. But I'm a big girl. I get warm pretty easy. I'm not a little bitty girl. That's okay, because I love me. And I don't need to be a little bitty girl. Oh. I mean, it's need to be me. Oh my goodness gracious. Open. Open. Yay, you're opening. Good job. Good job, glue. Good job. I'm trying to take all the gooby goop off. Makes it easier when it's opening if there's no gooby goop on it. You know, the extra dried glue. Alright, so these are plastic. The little. Uh, flat back pearls. So 
so I'm using E6000. I don't use Fabri-Tac on plastic. Um, actually, no, a lot of people that don't because it will peel off. Like, it'll just peel right off over time. Like, obviously, with any glue, you can just tear it apart, but with the Fabri-Tac, it will just fall off. Isn't that cool? Oh, I love that. It's, like, so simple, and the applique actually works really well with the design in the back. Oh, that is so cool. I love it. Okay, am I allowed to say that? I guess, I hope I'm allowed to say that, because I just did. <laughs> I'm learning Miss Pam over at Paper Outpost. She says something all the time in her videos, and I love it. She said, There's no rules in crafting. And I have to remember that because for so long, a little over a year, I just constantly had people telling me I was doing this, that, or another wrong because I wasn't following the rules of that or another. So, I just have to remember, there's no rules in crafting. You can do whatever you want. Um, okay, I think I have everything cleaned up, too. Bonus! Alright, how much time do we have? Uh, 7 minutes and 14 seconds. Check that out. Cool beans. Alright, so we did appliques. So we have this one here. Well, being that we have time, I can probably do seam binding. The seam binding that I'm using is Hug Snug. Um, you can get this, I get mine online from the Etsy shop. Um, let's see, I don't want to do that. And it's fairly inexpensive, but obviously someone else's inexpensive is not inexpensive to someone else. So. I have seen that it is um, some of the lower priced seam binding that I've seen. There we go. Perfect. Oh, I know what I can do. I've got this stuff in here. I can put it on this one and this one. Probably not this one. I don't think it's going to look good with that one. But I have this stuff eyelash trim. It is amazingness. And so I'm just going to twist it them up. Pull them through here. You know, I could probably do because that's really low. So let's do this. All right, one for you, one for you. We can share. All right, so twisty them up. Ugh. You know, it's funny. Most people are like, oh my gosh, I can't function with long nails. I cannot function with short nails. Like, does anybody else have that problem? I swear. And I've had these short nails for a minute. Because obviously I haven't gone and got my nails done in a while. But I'm used to using my nails as tools. Which is probably why I don't have any now. Because, you know, they're not, I don't think they're supposed to be used as tools. I like that. That's cool. Alright, so we'll put you back away. We're going to make you fold the other direction. How about that? And then twisted. I have some. Wait, 
Didn't we say we were going to go the other direction with that? Crap. I have some different colored seam binding <laughs> somewhere. Which is funny because I have been doing so much reorganizing. See, this would be when, when I would be yelling at the TV. I'm like, you're doing it wrong. You had it right the first time. Yeah, that'd be me. Oh my gosh, I still, nope, I still ended up doing it wrong. Oh well, whatever. So all I was doing was trying to pull the loop to the other side. So... We're going to trim this one just a smidge because it's too long. And the thing about the seam binding is it frays, which is actually kind of cool. And if you don't want it to come off, all you have to do is put just a smidge of glue right there. It will dry nice and clear. And it will stay stop the frame from going into this part. And that's it. Because it won't fray past the glue. And I know some people like the fraying, so I just leave it be. So there's those. And then we'll just do a simple one here. Just the cream seam binding. Sorry, I'm pulling it off camera. Oh, you're not even. There we go. Let go. Let go, my ego. There we go. You could tie a bow tie. You could. a little gem thingy right there. You know, whatever you want. You know, I think I am going to glue this part down because it's driving me bonkers not being glued down. So now we have three truly finished applique tags. So what do you think? Did I pass? <laughs> I don't know how this thing works, actually. Um, so this is the first time I've done it. So y'all have to let me know how I did. And I will be back to do letter B. Um, I'm not sure when exactly, but I'll be back to do letter B. And I will come back and see you guys later. So thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best, and have fun crafting. Bye, guys. There's my timer. Bye, guys.